Hey guys and welcome back to another video by myself, Dalek Amber 101 Productions. If you've seen the first video uh, that's come out before this one, it just explains where I've been and why I've not been on YouTube. But that's not what this video was about. This video is the first of six parts, uh, possibly more depending whether I can actually buy the other sets. Uh, and this is a series with me reviewing the new B&M Doctor Who sets because I've never reviewed anything on this channel and this is the first time I've actually managed to get anything new when it was released. Usually I had to ask for these for Christmas because I ain't got no money. But uh, I was very lucky enough to get some money so I thought why not, let's buy some stuff and review it. So I've got five sets, I've got the two Doctors set, I've got the Centaurin set, I've got the Seventh Doctor and Dalek set, the Eighth Doctor and Dalek set and the Fifth Doctor and TARDIS. And I've also got the War Doctor, something up there somewhere, you might not be able to see it. Um, so what I'm going to do is over six videos, review all those items, and then in the future, when I've got funds, buy the Shard of TARDIS, the Silver Nemesis set, and the War Doctor and Dalek and review them at a later date. But for now, I've got five sets, and I'm going to review them. So the first one that I'm starting out with is the Two Doctor set. Um, because it's quite a nice set, but there's only really one figure in this that I was really excited for. And that was, of course, Group Marshal Stike. Because who doesn't love a bit of classic Sontaran? Plus he had a brand new head sculpt, and as we've seen with B&M sets, it's very uncommon. Yet in this one they've done four brand new sculpts, so I'm not, I'm not sure what the rules are anymore with these um, B&M sets. But that's the box. Um, I'm not going to do massive reviews on boxes. I'm not really too fond of reviewing boxes, but it looks nice. You've got some TARDIS, you've got a limited edition sticker. We didn't get that last year. Now we've got it, and it looks looks really nice. Um, so you, it's a nice window box. You can see all three of the figures, and then on the back it just tells you who's in the box, which is the second Doctor, Pepper Gillian Brown, and Group Marshal Stake. Quite confused as to why they put Pepper Gillian when she's more well known as Perry, but it's nice that they've done that. So it says the part of the 5.5 inch and 14 centimetre scale collector series. And that's really about it on box, because boxes are boxes. So the three figures in the set were the Perry figure and the two Doctors, obviously. The second Doctor, the Androgram second Doctor, uh, which, naughty box, you should have said that. And then Group Marshal Stike. So I'm going to go over to the review table now, which is behind me, so we can get a better look at the figures and I reviewed them. And then I'll come back to this when I'm going to do uh, my final thoughts and overview. So onto the review bench. And we are over at the review table. So at the back we have uh, my other figures on display and then some others over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to review these figures and then compare them to um, some of the other ones that are out. So just an overview, uh, first of all, all the figures have the same articulation, which is the in the neck, um, in the shoulders, in the biceps, in the elbows, in the wrist, in the waist, in the hips, going out and up, on the thigh and on the knee. My only concerns are with my peri figure because her leg, I think, has been glued into place. Um, well, not glued into place, but there's some sort of hindrance there. So I don't want to push that, so just beware if your figure's not moving. If it can stand, I wouldn't really push it too much. And on the second Doctor and on Group Marshal Stike, there are some hindrances to um, getting the legs out in terms of sculpts and all that kind of stuff. But this, uh, the articulation is standard for the classic range which is good. My only gripe would be having some shoulders moving out for the Suntarans, but that's something I don't think we're ever going to see. So I'm going to move um, on to review Perry first, and I'll go on to the second Doctor, and then we'll do Group Marshal Stike last, because he's kind of like the the prize of this, of this, this set. So looking at Perry, she's a really good figure. It's um, just a basic repaint of the Case of Androzani figure, um, so they've repainted the shirt and the trousers. The shirt's got this quite psychedelic look to it. It's painted in a very um, shiny, glossy um, pink, and then it's got some golds and blues and greens kind of washed over the top, which make quite a nice pattern, to be honest. I'm not sure what her shirt pattern actually was, but this resembles it quite well, to be honest. The sculpt is nice. You can see that it is Nicola Bryant. Um, the hair 
is really well sculpted. You can see the individual strands, but I don't think there's a, a wash to bring it out, um, but that's fine. She's got her little bands, as you can see, just under her hair, which has been painted on really nicely, and that includes the, the pink and the blues and the um, yellows. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's two different types of blues, and then there's a yellow just in there. Um, the shirt has been sculpted really nicely with the creases, and the um, you can definitely see the neck really well, and the little um, tie, I guess, at the bottom of it. And the shorts look really good too. The belt has been sculpted and you can just about see the buckle and the and the hook. She's got her little tag which has been painted and you can see all the creases and wrinkles and her little back pocket with the singular button. The legs themselves are just smooth. There's a couple of um, creases in that and then her little heels are done really nicely. The, you can see the contrast between where her foot goes in and where the shoe is. So yeah, I mean, it's a really good figure. I really like the Keijo Andazani figure when it came out, and I really like this one. The only difference on this one that is kind of quite um, imposing is her arms, because they seem to pop out quite a lot. Um, I understand why they did it. Um, it's to give her kind of the more of a sleeves pushed up look, but it it kind of works, but at the same time it doesn't. You can kind of put her arms into certain positions and it doesn't look too bad. But if you really don't like it, you could just cut it and glue it, and it would look fine. So the Perry figure looks really good, and in comparison to her um, Kaiser Andrazani self, you can see the similarities, and you can kind of see um, the arms and the differences. But again, same figure, and it looks really good. So that is Purple Gilliam Brown. Next we have the second Doctor, and this is the perfect set to pick up a second Doctor if you've never had one. Um, he does have his bright orange bushy eyes, but um, you can always paint those grey if you really wanted to. But those look really well. They look really good and they kind of resemble him in the story. His hair has been sculpted really well and painted in a very um, dark grey with a nice black wash over the top, so he looks quite old. Um, his face sculpt is again... Very uh, reminiscent of Patrick Troughton, which it should be, because that's who it's supposed to be. His shirt's been sculpted really nicely. The jacket's been sculpted really nicely. So nicely, in fact, that I can actually tell there's four buttons on this figure. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. And I've had these figures for years. Not this one, but other ones. His handkerchief is sculpted really nicely and painted in this kind of greeny, beigey, reddy kind of colour scheme, which looks a bit messy, but also at the same time looks really nice. His legs have been painted with the standard checker design that we've seen on uh, multiple figures before, but this time he's got the black lines and the uh, checkers are actually a bit more easy to see. And his trousers are like a, a grey-green sort of colour. At least they look a bit grey-green to me. And then he's got his um, light brown shoes, which are all sculpted really nicely. So you can kind of see the buttons, the creases on the jacket, his big pockets where they all kind of slumped his... His shirt, his jacket is actually, I think, glued quite close together um, on my one, which is quite, well, it's quite nice, it's quite different. I think most of his other figures are um, glued with them open. Uh, he unfortunately doesn't come with any accessories, but I don't think he had a flute in the story, which is a shame. But again, yeah, it's a good set to pick up a second Doctor if you've never had one, and the only hindrance to it not being a second Doctor is those um, eyebrows, but you can just paint them. Uh, in comparison to the very first second Doctor that came out, which is his uh, Tomb of the Cyberman, you can see that he does look older, even though the sculpted faces are exactly the same. Um, the painted hair really does kind of make a difference, and you can see what I mean by the jacket being glued together quite close. Ah, I dropped him. His um, jacket also looks to be a bit more glossy compared to his other ones. Um, all of him seems to be a bit more glossy, except for his trousers. But that's about it. There is the second Doctor, and it is a good figure. And now on to the pride and joy of this set, which is, of course, Group Marshal Stike. And this is a Suntaran that I don't think anyone thought we'd ever see, especially in a B&M set, because he's quite a tall Suntaran in the story. Um, but what they've done to make this Suntaran has actually given him a bit more of a uplifting height, at least in my opinion. So uh, I'll look at the head in a minute, but first... The body is just a Lynx figure, repainted. 
the armor has been taken off. Now, the armor was always really easy to remove from the other figures anyway. It just left long pegs coming out of the legs. So it's nice to see that they've actually taken that into account to make a thinner Suntarum, which is what Group Marshal Stike was. He didn't have any armor. You can see around the places where the armor was, he's painted silver and bronze. I don't remember there actually being any bronze on the flight suit during the episode, but it stands out and looks really nice. His boots have been painted two-tone and it works really well um surprisingly which is which is nice his elbows have the same um two paint and his belt hasn't fully been painted silver they've kind of left like left like a line of black at the bottom which works really well because you can't really notice it too much uh, which is good his communicator has of course been sculpted and glued uh into this side of the body um, because they couldn't put it on the other side, it would re require a new sculpt, and he did actually have it on the other side. Um, in the story, he had his weapons here. And talking of weapon, he doesn't actually come with a weapon, but they've given him the holster for his weapon, which is a shame. They could have just used that section from the uh, Steyr figure to get rid of that, but they haven't, so uh, that's fine. Sculpt-wise, it looks really good. The creases and the wrinkles and the lines, everything looks really, really nice. The hands look really um, quite gruesome with their um, intricate lines and all that kind of stuff. And face-wise, it's probably my favourite Suntaran face. Uh, it's based on a really cheap and rubbish mask, but it looks really good. The big, massive eyebrows, the... Uh, the golden beard, the defined face, the eyes, the large nose, the weird ears, everything about it just looks really good. And if you can pick up multiples of this figure, I would suggest doing so. He does come with an accessory, and that is, of course, his helmet, which has been painted nicely to resemble his flight symbols. And the helmet does go on quite well, and they've even painted in the black in his eyes, which is nice. So that is Group Marshal Stike, and comparing him to his brotherly clone, you can see that he is exactly the same as Lynx in terms of everything, just the armor has been taken off, and you can see that Lynx actually has his weapon, which is unfair to poor, to poor Group Marshal Stike. So that is, that's the three figures. Back to the um, overview. And welcome back to the overview with my ugly mug. So the Two Doctor set is definitely one of my favourite sets, mostly just for that Group Marshal Stike, which I've got to admit, again, for the 500th time in this video, we never thought we'd get, so it's quite nice to actually have him. The boxes are quite nice as well, so I might consider keeping these. Uh, as you can see, be, well, on that side, I mean, maybe, you can kind of get a nice Two Doctors look with um, the Sixth Doctor and the Group Marshal and everyone and all that kind of stuff. You can... It looks nice, it looks good, and again, it's 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 a nice addition to the collection. Thoughts-wise, uh, Perry's nice. I don't know why they did the elongated arms. It kind of works, but it also kind of doesn't. Um, Stike, again, really good figure, and it is one of my favourite figures. I've had these sets for nearly a week now, and that is the figure that I keep going back to. So, yeah, I think he's one of my favourite Santarans now. Um, and the second Doctor, again, is a nice kind of addition to the collection. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I have a Toy Toys, which um, you'll have seen in the in the video where I explain why I'm back to YouTube. So she's just crawling over some stuff at the moment, which is which is which is quite funny. Uh, so the second Doctor, yeah, is a great addition for collection. If you don't have any of these figures, it's a really good way of picking them up. And I think uh, B and M and Counter Options have done really well with these with these figure waves so far. So that's the first set done. I've got four more and one screwdriver to review. Uh, the next set I will be reviewing will be this one, the Suntaran set with the brand new Harry Sullivan figure and the uh, Commander Store and Commander Lynx. And I know it's Field Major, but um, and it's not Store, it's Steyr. Store is from the Invasion of Time. Uh, so that's the next figure that I've got to review. Then I've got two of the Dalek sets and one of the TARDIS sets. And then I think after I've reviewed those, I'll do my final thoughts on the whole on the wave as a whole. Because I've seen the Silver Nemesis set and the Sharda set and the um, War Doctor and Dalek Scientist set in person. So I can give my 
uh, thoughts and feelings on those because they're the last three I need to get. Um, but other than that, starting off, two doctors, great start, and from here it only gets better. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, what are your thoughts and feelings on the two doctors set? Do you think it's a good set? Do you think it's a bad set? Have you picked it up? Are you going to uh, miss out on it? Whatever your thoughts and feelings, let me know down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the review of the Sontaran set. So thank you very much, guys.